after you, after you log in, you will see the dashboard of your website. The dashboard contains several elements. The first element that you'll notice is the administrative menus and icons at the top of the page. These represent all the modules you have installed in your website. If you would like a list of more modules, you can go to site-ninja.com and see what other modules are available. You'll also notice there, there are articles listed. Here's one titled Featured Box Overlay, Position and Formatting. There's another one down here. This will list all of the improvements made to Site Ninja modules uh, based on the date that you see underneath the article title. If you see features in these modules that you would like to have installed on your website, you can get updates to these modules for free. Just submit a support ticket and request that we update your site, which brings us to the bookmarks. If you need support, please click the support link. That will take you to the support site where you can ask questions about uh, uh, billing or any support issue related to your site. Uh, we use Google Webmail as your POP and IMAP email provider. This will take you to your account. You also have the ability to install Google Analytics with Site Ninja. If you don't have an account, please click this account. If you do have an account, you can go here and log in. As part of your initial welcome message, you may have received a login to your Google Analytics account that we created for you. Also, email stats from the website. The website uses a third-party provider called stat or called sendgrid.com to send out all email coming from the website. This kind of email is from the contact us page. Also, if you have the newsletter module, you can send up to 10,000 emails per month for free using your Site Ninja website. And this link right here will help you track the statistics of how many emails were sent, the bounce rate, the number of opens, etc. If you have any quest questions, please contact us at support.